All right. So today I'm going to go over um, this cannon. Well, I guess it's not a cannon. What is it? I saw another guy using it in a uh, PvE ground I was doing and looked cool, so I figured I'd check it out. And uh, I haven't actually even used it yet. I got it and I upgraded it a little bit. Had a bunch of leftover, um, oh, what is it? Phoenix upgrades and uh, the upgrade weekend that was last week. Um, so I used a couple of those and I didn't go full bore on it because I wanted to check it out first. But this uh, character setup uh, for you know main weapon is being plasma. Um, kind of like the same build as the last video that I did, um, just different primary weapon. Um, so this thing's pretty cool. Um, Core Field Mining Plasma Cutter. Um, so it comes to Mark 12. It comes from the first episode of the, what is it, the Gamma Quadrant? Yeah. Head to DS9. So when I saw this, initially I skipped past it because the stats just didn't look real good, but after, um, uh, based on that last video I put together, um, kind of up in the ground game with the new Q system and stuff, I've been kind of looking at all of this again and having a new understanding and appreciation for some of the way that these stats work. So um, what I found on this is the, the DPS isn't super high, um, kind of like that big cannon you can get uh, from the Lobby store, I can't ever remember the name. The DPS isn't real high, but the, uh, the base damage type it is high. So this one has, um, without it fully upgraded, it has almost an 80 uh, plasma damage times four. So it's 300 or what? Yeah, 320 just about uh, damage. Um, and if we upgrade that to the next one, you know that, that'll definitely get up higher than that. So I feel like this is gonna do some damage. It does some damage over time as well. Um, and has some other stats here. I haven't even gone through the secondary fire feature. 15 second recharge, plasma damage inflicted. Okay, plasma fire. Uh, I know it also has a sustain mode where it'll start to fire and it just sustains that firing um, for, I think it's up to 10 seconds. Um, starts to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyways, you guys can read through that if you want. Um, so let's try it out and uh, see how it does. Let's see if we can find a ground. The only bummer with the random queue system for when you, if you do get a ground, um, which you obviously don't always know what you're gonna get, when you get the Borg, it just sucks because you gotta use that refrequencer and it's a real bummer. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll just do a bug hunt. It's not my favorite, but it's good. Uh, it's a good run. It, it, it seems to me it's almost like turning into the, the ISA for ground, at least for, for me anyways. Let's see if we can get into a game here quick. Nice. Welcome to Pariah 3. I'm Lieutenant John Vanderveer, and I'll be your double. It's pretty cool looking. I don't know if the rate of fire is going to be quite enough. I'll try one of these Herald staffs. I think there's two different kind. I think you can get one from the Lobby store, and then I've also seen them on the Exchange, but I think it only has one bit on it, and it's just bare on the bottom. I haven't tried it yet, though. He's got one, too. Oh, yeah, that's the Lobby, or the uh, Exchange one there. That's the thing, when I'm firing off my buffs, I feel like sometimes it 
doesn't go back into the auto fire and I have to start clicking on stuff. That's not just this gun, that's everything. There we go. Gun. Oh yeah. This thing's cool. That thing looks cool. Yeah, so when I use the little gravity well things, whatever they are, my gun just disappears. Okay, so this thing's just firing. It's not even shooting at anything. <laughs> Looks cool. Oh. This guy. There we go. Doing it again. How do I aim it at something? Okay, there we go. So when it goes in that secondary fire mode, it's gonna just fire. Even if you don't have a target, or maybe the target died and then it just keeps going until you, you know, select another target and then it'll hit it. I'll get that guy. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the DPS. Hopefully, it's not too late. Let's Fire see. in the hole. Area Combat clear. At log one. Let's see what that looks like after. That is cool. It's not bad when you really lay into uh, one of these bad guys with it. Scan show that we need to jump down this narrow fissure All in the right. rock. This is always a Be fun careful. part. I don't know what's waiting for us at the bottom. Beam down some support. Start shooting. Getting a little glitchy. There we go. Going. Fire the weapon. That's crazy. North scans of the tunnel under us. Give me a moment, I'll clear a path. Fire in the hole. Watch that first step.
I think I can get us across. See that large stalagmite? Cover me! I blow it just right. You fall across the path. That's my mouse. Come on, bring it back out. Secondary firing mode is going. Whoa. Get him. This sounds cool. does on the coin. <laughs> what are you doing? She's dangerous. Where are we going? Okay, here we go. Boost everything up. It's cool looking. Seems like it's got some range. No, we're just shooting. Let's aim up. You killed the spawn. Yeah, so that thing starts to go off. You don't have a target already, or the target dies. It seems like it just. I'm about to die, let's get out of here. Seems like it just keeps shooting. You can't re acquire a target. I don't know. I'll have to play with that more. All in all though, it's pretty pretty cool. We'll take a look and see how we did on the uh, on the DPS. It's not a big deal in ground. As long as you're killing stuff and you're not dying, it's a good time, so but uh, what do we need? Uh, let's see here. It's so all in all pretty. I think it's cool. We'll have to do some more playing and testing on it and see if it's worth it. But it's a free uh, free gun. You get on that mission. That mission's not real hard to do. It's the first one in the arc, so you know most of you guys probably have this open. And if not, like I said, it's the first one in that arc. So um, go get it, play with it. It's uh, if you're using you know the semi-standard build here, most people are doing with the um, I have the, the video I put up last, the Romulan Imperial Naval. Navy set. Um, most people are doing the uh, the kit along with the body armor. I'm using the armor uh, from the uh, where that come from from the fleet star base because it has the higher critical severity. Um, if you use the armor that goes with this, it gives you 30% while crouching. This one gives you 80 um, all the time. You don't uh, you don't have to crouch. So this one you have to crouch. You get 30. Anyways, uh, watch the other video if you have questions on this guy. But anyways, this. 
this build uh, is suited for plasma and this happens to be plasma as well so uh, fun little gun there take a look at the DPS so I went back and watched the video of uh, the bug hunt there so what it looks like is when it does the secondary sustained fire it's basically just shooting straight at ground level and even if you don't have targets selected if it's hitting bad guys it's doing damage and it looked like it was doing quite a bit so when I went back and watched that as I was sweeping across groups of those bugs it was putting damage onto them even though they weren't selected targets so that's uh, that's pretty cool um, it's kind of a long recharge for that secondary fire mode. It's uh, 15 uh, for that. Um, but one of the things you can do, and I have this on uh, hotkeys. Um, let's see here, trajectory bending. So this gives me, makes basically all my shots flanking damage. Uh, but this one here, uh, when you're activating this, this gives you, um, reduces the cooldown time on your secondary uh, firing mode. Um, secondary weapon attack after delay yeah so it reduces that so when you start firing that off you'll get um, an instant cooldown when you f uh, fire your primary firing mode uh, for your secondary so that uh, secondary firing mode was going off quite a bit more during that run because of uh, this here than it normally would and this is fairly inexpensive on all my tactical um, characters I'm running both of these um, and then obviously this comes with your tactical character. So if you're firing these off, um, you know, as much as possible, you know, I was thinking I may even just, I carry a lot of these, just move this up into that uh, key bind. Um, so all four of those, the, um, uh, the, the damage boost here, energy damage boost, along with uh, these three, that's gonna up your uh, crit chance, crit severity, uh, which is already pretty high. Uh, these are pretty good numbers. Uh, one of my other tunes, I have the uh, low buy uh, gambling device, and if you use that and win, um, you get, I think it's an hour, and it bumps this like 10, um, so you're up at 25, and it gives you, I think, 20 on this, so I'm over 200, which, I mean, if my ship had that, so my main ship, I'd be pretty pumped, so I mean, those are huge numbers, um, so when, you know, if you use that device, you know, or even without it, and you're activating this here, um, this is giving you 50% damage increase, 5% critical severity, no, critical chance, 50% um, critical severity. So along with the gambling device, I mean, these numbers would be off the charts. And if you're in that secondary firing mode, sweeping, you know, a room full of bad guys, you're going to you're gonna do quite a bit of damage to, to quite, quite a bit of... Uh, uh, of your enemy there um, if they're unfortunate enough to be in the way so um, I, I love it I'm gonna play with it more upgrade it and uh, definitely would recommend it um, especially if your build is uh, you know suited for uh, for plasma uh, setup uh, it's definitely uh, definitely a cool cool weapon to have there and again like I keep saying it's free it's just a mission run through and it's uh, the mission's not not too bad at all so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching All right. So with that, I feel like on a few of those, I was kind of messing around with the camera angles. I think we probably could have got close to 300, um, which is decent for, for that particular run and most of the uh, the ground. Um, I'll see people doing videos where they got 1,000 and that's you know that's crazy. It's kind of like you know in space when people are doing well over 100. Um, I've yet to hit that in space, not in the 70 something uh, thousand, or se yeah, 70,000 DPS. But in any case, if you're hitting around three, uh, and you're not dying, um, you know, you're having a good time. That's a good build you got put together. So all in all, I think that's, um, I'm going to keep it. I think I'll probably continue to upgrade that and, and play with it more. It's, it's fun. It's a little different from, from everything else that's, uh, that's out there and it's free, uh, which is always good. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, like, subscribe if you have questions, suggestions on other you know weapons that uh, we can check out. Uh, cool thing about this game, it's so huge and in depth. I'm, I've been playing it you know for a while, and uh, I'm still you know finding new stuff constantly, which is you know really cool. So, anyways, thanks guys.